Firefighters and first responders deal with risks every day. It's the job. Risks can't be avoided, but they can be lowered. Think of risk as frequency times consequence, meaning the more often you face something that could end up really bad, the higher the risk. Managing that risk is all about understanding and managing threats. So what can you manage? Lack of information, like potentially hazardous or explosive materials on site, no pre-planning or strategies in place to deal with emergencies at the facility. Let's say a new facility is being built in your town. It's my job to protect the town and the facility in case of an emergency. How you manage these threats directly affects your risk level. Let's look at the example of a new industrial facility being constructed. As first responders, fighting fires is our job. No matter the situation, we need to get in there and put out the fire before it gets out of control. We don't need to worry about every single detail in the facility. We just need to get in there and handle the situation quickly. Any fire at an industrial site needs to be approached with extreme caution. caution. We can't even think about responding to the site until we know all the materials they handle, all the building layouts, and all the other important details about the place. These facilities have things that can explode. It's just too dangerous not to have all the information up front. It's not realistic to gather that level of detail on all the buildings in town. We do need to know if there are any materials that pose a threat of explosion or of toxic fumes that could spread into the town. Let's not take a chance. We'll call the facility to find out what materials they have on site that could cause a problem and how to deal with them. Then we can work with the facility to develop an emergency response plan so we'll be prepared in case of an emergency. How about another example, an actual fire? We need to make sure we don't go anywhere near the facility. We can only focus on protecting the surrounding areas. The water from our hoses could react with the materials inside the facility and cause a bigger problem, like toxic gas. We don't want to take the chance of getting anyone injured. I understand, but the sooner we can get in there, the sooner we can control the blaze. Our equipment's designed to keep us safe. If you worry about every little detail, you might not be able to react in time. Just be brave and get in there before the fire gets any bigger. There's no need to take chances here. We have an emergency response plan for the facility. We met with the company. We know what and where the hazardous chemicals are and how to respond. Now we can put our plan into action and respond to the emergency safely for us and the community. Being a first responder is all about risks. We can't eliminate them. They're part of the job. But we can reduce our risk levels by understanding the threats and managing them. Risk, not chance. This message is brought to you by the United Engineering Foundation and these contributing partners.